Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-October to the end of October 2020 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So you can check out one of your other signs or your person's um, other signs. Alright, and also the roles can be reversed, although I'm mostly going to be focusing on on you actually this time around and we'll see your person is bound to show up in the reading as well otherwise you can watch their sign so you can cross watch um, to see more about them all right so let's see what is going on with Sagittarius mid-October we have door to spirit Alright, so I feel like you are tapping into your spirituality a little bit more um, this month. Possibly certain things are happening that you feel are opening that door for you. Uh, maybe you feel like you're going through an awakening or through just another level possibly of awakening. Just getting in touch more with your spiritual side. Let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For October 2020. Alright, so we're going to look at the recent past, the present, and the near future. So for the past, we have the Three of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Hierophant. Currently, we have the Five of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups. And coming up in the near future, we have the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. All right, yeah, so from the looks of things, it looks like you went through a very difficult time in the past and possibly even in the recent past. You might still feel like you are putting up some kind of a fight or that you might have other people against you. However, I feel like regardless of that, you are really moving forward here when it comes to some love situation. And coming up in the near future, yeah, I'm beginning to see clarity coming through, even more clarity than before. And I feel like this is possibly this door to spirit as well, um, as well as a new beginning here, possibly with somebody from the past, possibly. So let's get into clarifying so we can see. It's looking pretty positive though. So let's actually clarify this Three of Swords in the recent past. All right, we have the Hermit, we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so it feels like there, there was some situation that brought you a lot of pain. Possibly there may have been a third party involved. Um, and there has been some kind of a breakup, possibly. Either that or there was just a lot of pain that was keeping you from being able to make a decision or from knowing which way to go. Either you or your person. Somebody here, I mean, having both the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, it does feel like there was something that was a barrier in between the two of you. It could have been that somebody was just very distant here, or this made you become very distant. I feel like through this pain, though, it's this pain, it was this situation that 
really helped you to turn inward and opened up a spiritual path for you. Let's see this Two of Swords. The Nine of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so something, something here in the past, there's something about somebody really having to make a decision here and I feel was having a very hard time making a decision. This could be you, this could be your person. But there was a decision that wasn't being made and I feel like that decision, it was kind of like a contrast between what is my rational mind telling me and what is it that my heart is telling me. Um, there was something that I feel was actually very clear in what this person wanted, what it is that they felt fulfilled them, but it could be that they chose to stay in some kind of a comfort zone here. And I feel actually that this comfort zone wasn't even just listening to the rational mind. The comfort zone was actually staying in that in-between phase, not having, um, not having concluded on either, on either side. Kind of like, yeah, I don't want to listen to my rational mind. I don't want to listen to my heart either. I'm comfortable just staying in this indecisiveness because then I get to avoid having to make a decision because possibly each decision would bring pain. Following what is rational would bring pain and following their heart would also bring pain. So this person decided to just not choose any of the two and just stay in the middle which was more comfortable than having to make a decision so again this could be you and possibly it could be because of of the pain or this was your person in this type of an energy and i feel like whatever it is though this was concerning a very strong commitment okay so it was either your person um feeling this way when it came to a to another commitment that they have or it was you feeling this way about your person in this commitment and i feel like whatever this commitment was it's something that was um like a high level of commitment it wasn't just it's not just a fling it's either a marriage or you know maybe um these two people have been together for a long time possibly or just have a very deep connection and so therefore this is why it was so difficult all right so let's see what's going on currently because i do see some kind of a some kind of a conflict here let's see the five of wands All right, we have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. It's like you're, you want to take some action when it comes to being independent and leaving leaving something behind, walking away from something, turning your back to something, trying to detach. Um, there's some resistance I feel with that. I don't know why, but I feel like there's a little bit of resistance currently when it comes to, it's kind of like, it gives me the feeling of yeah, you know, I want to quickly be in this energy of being independent and of having everything sorted in my life. But it's kind of like, yeah, but then I have to leave certain things behind in order for this to happen very quickly and that makes me feel a little bit sad 
almost like there's a sense of rushing to get to this place and it's like that like you want to rush it but at the same time you also don't want to leave it behind so I feel like really just taking your time here would be would be easier for you like there's no need to rush getting to that place you know kind of like allow it allow it to happen let's see the nine of hearts because I'm also seeing love here somebody here giving you an offer could be your person could be somebody else Let's see temperance the hanging man and the star it could be that somebody here is wanting to approach you possibly wanting to come back could be somebody from the past here but I feel like they're taking their time and I feel like or this is you wanting to like what I was saying before it could be that you are entertaining possibly a new relationship or this relationship from the past but you feel like you might be rushing things because again it feels like something is being left behind here um, in order to do that and what I'm seeing here is you're still healing you're still healing yes you have opened up this door um, where this healing is really on a roll here okay with both the temperance and the star this is all about healing and patience so you've opened up that door but it doesn't happen you know from one day to the next All right, it's, it's definitely um, a work in progress and I feel like you are doing that. And this could be possibly, you know, for, for some of you, it might be that you want to meet um, somebody new on the one hand and you're feeling like a little bit of a rush, like, yeah, let me just meet somebody. I want to meet somebody if, if you're single. Um, but at the same time, meeting somebody would mean that you have to leave behind the energy of another relationship that was here. So I hope that's making sense. Um, you would know. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but something along those lines. Or it could be for this particular person, right, that you really want to have that connection with them. Fast, but at the same again it's like there's something and I feel like I feel like your intuition is telling you this that you know deep inside that you know you have to be a little bit patient and take things slow and allow yourself to heal throughout this process during this time period but this love is there there's definitely love here and I feel like it's already here it's just taking a little bit of time to really come together because of this healing Two of Cups. Look at that, the chariot. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, this is going to happen fast. When it happens, it's going to happen fast. Or this is just, I'm not even going to get it anymore here. This is very clear. This love is on its way. It's like already on its way. It's already in motion coming your way so you may have you may already know this person as I said before maybe it's somebody new it but either way it's already on its way to you you just have to be a little bit patient here with your own self when it comes to really being open to receiving this and how deep you will go um, from the beginning and how quickly All right, so let's see. Let's see this Queen of Swords in the near future. The Four of 
Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. So you're going to, I feel like you're going to be in the center. This might even be your person um, really holding on to you or you really holding on to them in a way where it, in a way where this is you holding on to this previous situation here is really going to come into your awareness. You're going to see how that has been affecting you and I feel like you're really going to be able to balance that out because you're going to have a lot of clarity over that past situation. Hmm. I mean, with both the Six of Cups here and the Three of Cups, it could definitely be um, this person coming in could definitely be somebody from your past. It could even be the same person. But I feel like whatever the case, you're able to, you, you're going to be able here to really um, find that balance between the present and the past. And this could actually be your person here. Coming to this energy. Let's see. see the three of cups the two of swords the wheel of fortune and the knight of pentacles yeah so the message here is that once you are able to really make that connection between your past and how it's affecting the present and really, you know, take your time when it comes to healing and processing everything from the past, that is when you're going to be able to be in this energy of um, high vibration and being very just more light spirited in a sense where you can actually enjoy um, your life, you can enjoy the people around you, and you can enjoy this new relationship. Even if this new relationship is with somebody from the past, there's still something new about it. All right, this is you really being able to make a change when it comes to that Two of Swords, which is the energy that you were in before, you were your person. Whoever it was that had to make that decision and they were just stuck in the middle not making any decision because it was just more comfortable to not go neither left nor right. It's this person who's making a change here and really working forward. But again, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is something that does need time. It doesn't happen from one day to the next. All right, so this could definitely be you. Um, but just take the energies as they make sense for your situation. You will know who is who. All right, so, yeah, this is really opening up the door to a new beginning, a new potential here. I have a very strong sense that for a lot of you, it's going to be somebody from the past, and then for some of you, it might be something completely new. Let's see the Ace of Wands. But something from the past definitely needs to be released here by one of you. And I do see that happening. Because whoever it was that wasn't releasing, that was stuck in this indecisiveness, is making that change here. All right, we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. Let me get one more. And the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, <laughs> this is like exactly what I just said. Like I said it, and then it comes out. Somebody is making that change here. Somebody is putting something to an end. Whatever it is, I feel, from the, from the past and having victory over that. But again, it's like the same message keeps coming through again and again. It's a work in progress, all right? It's not gonna happen from one day to the next, so don't expect that over yourself or don't, don't expect that of this person if this is about your person being in that type of a situation, all right? But it is happening, whoever this is, is working towards that. And I see you having learned so much 
through this where it's really opened up the door for you to enter a new spiritual level. So I, I think that that is actually great. Alright, so let's see. The final message, if this was resonating with you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did resonate. Let's see, final message for Sagittarius. We have peace. Yes, you are entering a period of peace. And things might seem a little bit difficult right now, especially with um, all this situation having been in your recent past. So I can imagine you might actually be feeling even tired right now. And there's that like feeling of wanting to rush, but not. But all of this is really leading you to having peace. And look at these images, like I just feel like they're so um, similar, both with a dove here, and they're just, they both look peaceful and, and spiritual, as well as liberating. So, there you go. So that was your reading, Sagittarius. I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.